I'm going to show some stretches you can do after exercising and or even running that are compound stretches. That means they, they uh, cross multiple joints. I'm going to inhale. Exhale and rotate. And you get a really nice stretch in the spine. It's important to use the whole body. For example, runners use the same muscles over and over again. So they need to work in the lateral plane and rotational plane instead of just front and back. I'm going to bring my body down as I stretch. And then another progression is to bring the leg out here. I'm going to feel it from here all the way down the back side, coming around through here like a sling. Remember we talked about the sling? So it's here. A lot of times on this one, you also get a little adjustment in the back because we're twisting the spine, it'll pop, pop. If we have some soreness or areas that we feel tightness, we can use something like this and do what's called self-myofascial release. And the myofascia, what that is, is the white tissue that lines the muscles. Um, that can get very bound up from overuse or underuse from sitting and go from the knee and towards the hip. And we can change the amount of pressure by our weight. So I can put more weight on there or less weight controlling that. And I can go in, out, depending on the area that's tender. And we want to breathe through that. Before we exercise, we want to warm up more than we want to stretch. We want to stretch after we exercise, especially if it's something with high intensity we want to warm up the muscles. So we want to get the heart rate up through the movements that we're going to do the exercise. So if we're going to be running, we want to mimic running or exaggerated running.